The black hole that sits at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, has finally been captured on camera, thanks to the efforts of astronomers. The picture was created by the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, collaboration. A group of over 300 scientists from five continents, including Africa, working together to make the image. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at a terrifying new discovery made by scientists in Africa that can change everything. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. A century and a half ago, Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity successfully predicted the existence of black holes. There are regions of space that are so packed with matter that nothing, not even light, can get out of them. The limit is referred to as the event horizon, and it denotes the point beyond which there is no turning back. One of the many reasons why these things are concealed from our view is because of this. The second reason is that, when compared to the rest of the universe, they're incredibly insignificant. If our Milky Way galaxy were the size of a soccer field, the event horizon of its black hole would be about the same size as a pinprick in the center of the field. The question now is how one would go about photographing them. Our group was able to accomplish this by collecting light emitted by the hot gas that was spinning in close proximity to the black hole. This light, which has a wavelength of 1 mm, is picked up by an international network of antennas that come together to form a single, virtual telescope that is the size of Earth. The light has the appearance of a ring, which is a distinctive trademark that is a direct result of the interaction of the two important processes. To begin, the region around the black hole is so dense that it warps the path that the light travels. Second, it is able to gather light that is strayed dangerously close to the event horizon. The combined impact creates what is known as a black hole shadow, which is an illuminated ring that surrounds a clear gap in the light's distribution that is centered on the black hole. In the case of the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, this ring appears to be around the size of a donut on the moon, and it'll take an enormous amount of technical work to bring it into focus. The revelation of a photograph of our galaxy's supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, is not only a watershed occasion for the scientific community, it has the potential to be a key catalyst for diversifying astrophysical research in Africa by utilizing the continent's strengths. We were the only two members of the EHC team based on the African continent out of more than 300 total members. We were brought on board because of the expertise that we've developed in preparation for the world's largest radio telescope, the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, which will be co-hosted by South Africa and Australia. The EHT does not host any telescopes on the continent, but this result is more than just a beautiful picture. In 10 publications, the team has written about a wide range of interesting scientific results. Here are three of our main points of interest. First, the picture is an amazing proof of Einstein's theory of general relativity. The AHD has now taken pictures of two black holes with masses that are more than a thousand times different from each other. Even though the masses are very different, the measured size and shape match what the theory says they should be. Second, we have now taken pictures of black holes in many different places. A lot of research done over the past two or three decades shows that galaxies and their black holes change together over cosmic time, even though their sizes are very different. By zooming in on the event horizons of black holes in giant galaxies like M87 and more typical galaxies like our own Milky Way, we can learn more about how the black hole and its host galaxy work together, even though it seems impossible. Third, the picture gives us new information about the black hole at the center of our galaxy. It is the closest of its kind to Earth, so studying it is like studying a tree in your own yard to learn more about the forest far away. We are proud to have been on the team that took the first pictures of the black hole. We think that South Africa and the rest of Africa, including a joint Dutch-Namibian project, could be very important in making the first black hole movies in the future. As was the case with South Africa's important role in paleoanthropology, there are things that can only be done in South Africa that help astronomy around the world. The star, Sagittarius A, is in the southern sky, right above South Africa. This is a big part of why this picture of the center of the Milky Way, taken by the Meerkat, a telescope that came before the SKA, is the best there is. South Africa's astronomical sites also have a well-built infrastructure and are protected by law and it has engineers who are the best in the world at what they do. This makes it possible to get telescopes on time and on a budget that are cheap and work well. New technology is also on our side. Our Korean colleagues were the first to design a cutting-edge, simultaneous multi-frequency receiver 
which means that EHT sites no longer have to be in the cleanest and highest places on earth. All the pieces are in place for a big jump in the number of young Africans working on black hole imaging and precise tests of gravity in this new area. In the next few years, we hope to write about discoveries made in South Africa that wouldn't have been possible without technology, as well as about African scientists who are leading high-impact, high-visibility EHC science that works well with our multi-wavelength astronomy and high-energy astrophysics programs. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!